Hello quilt artisans, my name is Shonda and welcome to my channel Under the Needle. So I wanted to give you guys a little update on what's going on with my sewing room. So, I bought this house in 2015 when I was still with my then husband at the time. Well actually we technically weren't married yet but he became my husband and then we quickly divorced. <laughs> we, got, we actually got married on the 10 year anniversary of the day we met. So, um, and then after we got married, things went downhill very, very, very rapidly. Anywho, that's another story. So, at the time, we really needed a four-bedroom house because there were three kids and then us. Finding a four-bedroom house proved to be very difficult in our, um, in, in the area where I live. Um, in, in the county, in the surrounding cities where I live, finding a four bedroom home was, was difficult because um, they're just so much more expensive, right? Trying to find four bedrooms, it like, the price drum, jumps dramatically, like by like 50 grand. I, it, was, it was just a lot, of, a lot more money to get four bedrooms. Um, and then the houses with four bedrooms, sometimes they didn't have a lot of land. Um, or, you know, we just didn't like the how it, it just it, it just wasn't in the cards for a four bedroom So then the idea became okay Let's find a three bedroom house That has like an extra area like a den or a study or um, a, a dining room a separate dining room Right because you can take that separate dining room Depending on how it's made, like if it's one of those separate dining, it has to be a separate dining room that has a small, that had a, like a small um, entryway. And that's what we found. So it's a three bedroom house. It had a finished, it had a, not finished, but it had a, um, a separate dining room off the kitchen that had a doorway, but just no door. And the prior owner had turned that space into an office. And that was the space that I put my daughter in, my oldest daughter, because she was 19. And you figure 19, she's going to be wanting to get out of her mother's house soon, right? And so that was kind of the, the thinking. Okay, we can put the oldest one in that room. We had hired somebody to come put a door on the room, put her in that room. Um, and we figured that that would be the best, that would be the easiest. And then when she moved out, then we could use that room for something else that was kind of the plan and that's what we did sort of <laughs> so um he and i we did not we did not work out and after he and i broke up my sister um so basically i decided that i was going to move into that room and use it as a sewing room so that's what i did i moved in there i used it as a sewing room i think initially it was just a room I put a small couch in there I put a, a nice table in there and it was just gonna be kind of like a chill chill out room just to kind of go sit read a book I wasn't gonna put any kind of television in there it was just gonna be a quiet place to go sit a quiet room um, but then I was like why I can go in my bedroom and be quiet so instead I decided I was going to sew again, you know, start sewing again since I had space and I set up my sewing machine and I, and I started going and that became my sewing room. Then my sister had an issue and she needed to move in with me temporarily. So I moved all of my stuff out of the sewing room down to the garage. So the prior owner also took the garage, which is what I'm where I'm at right now, and they finished it. So they put up the walls, they put in the floors, they put up the shelves, and they had like a this was like a theater room. There's like um, there's some soundproofing in here. There's a uh, there's a disco ball in here. There's a, a projector and a screen in here. I never used any of those things. Um. I, you know, it's just easier for me to go in the living room and watch a movie than to try to figure out this technology. Um, so I was like, well, okay. So I moved all of my stuff out of my sewing room and I moved down into the garage. Then my sister, when she uh, moved out, she moved out, I want to say it was 2019. Is that right? Yeah. 2019 so my sister moved out in 2019 so then I took all of my stuff 
and moved it back into the sewing room because she was in that 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 room that my daughter stayed in. So I moved all of my stuff back up there. Then January 2020 comes. So it's not even a year. Not even a year. Maybe six months. So I had been back into the other room for about six months when my daughter calls me. Her roommate has um, gotten injured and can't work. Um, and her disability isn't enough to cover the bills. They're struggling. She needs to come back home. So I'm like, okay, well, this is temporary. So I'm like, look, kiddo, I feel bad, but I'm going to have to put you in the, in the garage, right? Because I literally just moved everything back upstairs. I, I, I don't want to have to move it back down here and then six months later, move it back upstairs. But then COVID came. And first she lost hours at work and then she was completely let go from her job because she was working at a retail eatery. She was working for Dunkin' Donuts and who the heck was going to get donuts in April of 2020? Everybody was home and when people did eat, you know, eat out, they weren't trying to eat donuts. A lot of people were now working from home. So you're not passing through Dunkin' Donuts on your way to work to get donuts, coffee, sandwich, etc. So... There just was not enough business, and so she had lost her job. So a temporary situation became a more permanent situation. So um, she was able to get enough money, you know, unemployment to, you know, pay her car note and, and car insurance and all that good stuff and have walking around money. But she didn't have a job. She certainly couldn't afford to leave on her own, to live on her own, I mean. So it was like, okay, well, now what? Now, my daughter is very messy, and she gets it, honestly. She gets it from her mother, but she's worse than me. So um, this area down here, this was really just my storage area, like because I'm a messy person, so I need a place to throw my mess, and this is it. Some people have a junk drawer. I got a garage, and so all the stuff would come down here, but what happened was she would, she started to slowly consolidate my things into a smaller and smaller space thereby making more space for herself makes sense but it just wasn't sustainable because I no longer could store anything down here like we took the Christmas decorations out and when we got back from the cruise and um, we took the tree down before we went on the cruise in January but we didn't put the the, the stuff back down here actually no we did I take it back. No, we did. So we took the tree down and brought all of the Christmas stuff back down here to store. And there was no spot for it because she had moved things. Like she just kept consolidating and consolidating my stuff into a smaller, smaller area. And then she continued to spread out until she was about to take over the entire space. And I was like, okay, this is not working. I no longer have a place to store anything. Things are starting to accumulate in my kitchen because I can't bring it down here like I normally would. And on top of that, you know, my fiance, he was saying, you know, you've got a space where you can go close the door, be by yourself, not be bothered. It would be really cool if I had something like that too. So we decided this is what we're going to do. We're going to get a storage shed, put it in the backyard. Okay, then we are going to play musical bedrooms. I am going to take my middle daughter and put her in my sewing room. My oldest daughter was going to then go to uh, my middle daughter's bedroom. She was going to move out of here and into my middle daughter's bedroom. And then my sewing room was going to come down here to the basement. We cut the room in half. I get half for my sewing. He gets half for his man cave. We put up some dividers and then we'll both have to just share the space. That's the plan. So again, I store stuff down here and then stuff has been accumulating. Uh, we had some yard waste, not yard waste, but like outdoor furniture that was broken that needed to be disposed of. So it was like, okay, let's run a dumpster rent a dumpster we'll go through everything that's down here throw stuff away 
you know, get rid of all this yard trash. Just, just get rid of, purge. Now, they dropped off the dumpster on Thursday. So, a week ago from Thursday. And um, so, the plan was to start on Friday. And, you know, because it, it was, it's a, it was a, it's a massive undertaking. It was a lot to do. So, that was the plan. But I had a cousin coming from out of town. I hadn't seen him in a couple years at least. Probably haven't seen him since 2019. So probably haven't seen him in three years. So it was like, okay, um, has it been how long? Maybe two years. It, it doesn't matter. It was a really long time. So I was like, okay, he's coming to visit. I want to visit. So I can't start doing anything because A, I'm going to be tired. And, and B, I'm going to be sweaty. And, and C, it's, it's just not going to work. So that knocked out Friday. Saturday was my mom's, um, well, not my mom. My family gets together the second Saturday of every month to celebrate people's birthdays that are that month. I think I've said that before. My mom's birthday is in April and so is my Aunt Dot. My plan was to skip the month of April so that I could get started on Saturday. I had already picked up my middle daughter from college the day before so that she could help. My son was gonna be on spring break so he could help. So it was a family, it was a family affair. But my mom had texted my fiance separately because you know he works retail and sometimes he can't make it to our family gatherings but since it was her birthday she actually messaged him separately it was like hey son-in-law i'm really hoping that you'll be able to get off work and 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 be able to, to to attend for my birthday so then i had to go so that 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 knocked out saturday didn't get, get didn't get to do too much saturday i think we left the house Saturday about two o'clock we probably didn't get home till like one in the morning that knocked out Saturday so Sunday morning got up hit the ground running came down here and and got started well tried to get started but my 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 oldest daughter hadn't done anything literally nothing all she did was like get stuff off the floor sort of and that was it. So I'm like, look, you're, you're going to have to, I understand your, your procrastination. I'm a procrastinator as well. It, it's also an issue that I have, but we, 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 we have, there's a lot of money in this. It cost me 300 bucks to rent this dumpster. This storage shed is thousands of dollars. This project needs to happen. I have to go back to work. I need to get this done this week so that I can get my work set up. I need to start. I need to get back to sewing. I need to get my machine set up. I can't bring anything down because you haven't gotten anything out. So my my son, he was on it. He went in his room. He took some trash bags. He purged whatever he needed to purge from his room. My middle daughter, she was on it. We got all her stuff. She she's a minimalist. She does not have a lot of things. She does not. She's not like me. And my daughter, me and my daughter, my oldest daughter, we are pack rats. We have tons of stuff. We, we overbuy, we collect, we, we get involved in something and then we buy a bunch of stuff and then we drop it. I've, I've done crochet, scrapbooking. I have bought a bunch of stuff and then did not follow through. The sewing is different. This is, this is probably the only hobby that I've really stuck with. Um, so Sunday night she uh, she gets her bed out so for Monday I really spent Monday I mean Sunday um, um, just doing helping my kids do their stuff and just you know other little other little like you know odds and ends I stayed busy all day but I couldn't really get to the meat and potatoes of things so once she got her bed out on Sunday Sunday she got her bed out so Monday morning again hit the ground running and I got all of the furniture moved out so I got all of like my sewing table, my ironing table, my cutting table. I, we got all, I got all the furniture moved out, I think, except for a couple of pieces. And then the next day I got that out. Um, and then we went, I went on to the bins. I started going through the bins. So basically Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all day, all day, nonstop, just getting stuff done. 
purging, um, just figuring stuff out all day. On Thursday, I was wrecked. I, I, I literally, I stayed in bed all day. I did absolutely nothing. I don't think I did a single thing on Thursday. Not one single thing. Cause I was I was beat, and that was pro that was why, and I knew that I would be. I'm not a physically active person, so I knew that I was going to be tired. That's why it was so important to me to try to start on Friday. It would have been better if I could have did Friday, Saturday, Sunday, rest Monday, hit it hard Tuesday, Wednesday, rest Thursday, hit it hard Friday, Saturday, rest Sunday. That would have been much better, but that did not happen. So. Rested Thursday, back at it Friday. By Friday, the bin was pretty much, it was pretty much full. Uh, the, the gentleman that I rented it from, he had contacted me, was like, hey, um, you know, I'm going to be there Monday morning to pick up the, the dumpster. But he was like, but if I can pick it up earlier, let me know. And I was like, well, you can pick it up because I think this was Saturday. And I'm like, well, you can pick it up tomorrow because at this point it's full. I can't even put anything else in it. I'm going to show you guys how full it was. I got a picture. I'm going to show you. Hold on one moment. Of course, as soon as I went to show the picture, something happened to my camera. And I did a whole bunch of talking. And there was no recording happening. So I'm going to try to show you the picture again. One moment. My camera is going to do weird things while I try to show you this picture. So just a moment. So this is everything. Um, this is everything that we threw away. We got a full dumpster. I decided on the ground there is some edging. I decided to keep that edging because it's expensive. But um, right there, that is my fiance and I loading the last piece um, onto the onto the truck not the last piece that we had just the last piece that we could possibly fit up there there's still a ton more stuff um, that needs to go so let me go back to me so while we were loading that deck box um, so that deck box has been sitting on the ground next to the pool since at least since I moved here so for a solid seven years or Plus, it's been sitting there. So, all I can think is that there must have been some type of insect in there that got a hold to me. Because as we were pushing it up there, the box came open. All of this dirt and stuff started falling out. Me and my, we were both like completely covered in dirt. I had dirt in my hair. I had dirt on my skin, on my arms, my face, my neck. Like I had dirt, dirt. But mixed in with the dirt must have been a bug or two because your girl got bit. Um, shortly after putting that deck box up, I started itching. My face was itching. My arm was itching. My neck was itching. And then I noticed bites, like a bite here, bite here, and two on my arm. Then they started to swell. So I took a couple, and then I started to feel like crap, right? They started to swell. So I know it's probably some kind of spider. Um, that that would be my guess, some kind of spider. So um, I started to feel chills, fatigue. I went and crawled in the bed, and I was I was completely covered, and I was still freezing. And I was like, I got to get up. I got to take some Advil. I got to take my temperature. I went and took my temperature. My temperature was 98.5. However, my normal body temperature is like 97.8. So for me, 98.5 was warm. I think it, was, it might have been 98.8. But that's a warm temperature for me because I'm normally like 97. So um, I was like, well, that explains the chills. So I took two Advil. And then once those kicked in, I started to feel better. But the swelling, guys, um, I'm going to give it till tomorrow morning. Um, but here you can kind of see here, this was two small bites. And then they kind of grew into one large lump. 
kind of see the difference in, in my arms. See how it's just swollen, it's red. It doesn't really hurt, but it is itchy. Um, but I did take two Advil as well. It doesn't hurt, but even before I took the Advil, it's not like, it's like the pain, it's like a bee sting. You know, a bee sting, like the next day, it, it mild it's a mild soreness and I think the only reason I feel it is because since my arm is at my side it's constantly being touched and pressed and all that good stuff so I think that's really that's the real issue um because the one on my face is itchy but there's no soreness and the one on my neck is um itchy but there's no there's no soreness but I'm definitely swollen I'm swollen in my face, I'm swollen in my neck, and it is making my double chin like, blow. you know, it is like, my double chin is popping right now. Anywho, so, um, there's still a lot to be done, right? There's still more, like, there was still more stuff. Um, there's a second deck box, and I got a new, so I got a new deck box, and I was going to, so I had two that, that were here when I moved in. So I had one that I was going to take and throw away. And then the one that was on the deck, I was going to put that next to the pool. And then the new one was going to go on the deck. And then I was like, you know what? No, I'm just going to buy another deck box. And um, even though it wasn't in the budget, I'm going to have to, I'm gonna, I'll find, I'm just going to buy another deck box and I will use that. Um, and so the, the old one. I don't know what we'll, what we'll use it for. Maybe yard trash. I, I don't, not yard trash. Um, like yard stuff. You know, like the um, propane tanks. Um, you know, those types of things. Maybe we'll keep it and use it for that. I, I'm not sure. But I know it's, it's still old and it's kind of ugly. And I don't want it on my deck anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that too. But of course, I have I I'm my storage my tr my dumpster truck was full, so um, everything just kind of is what it is for now. Um, so I, I need to do it again. There's still more stuff. There's still more stuff. I was completely focused on down here getting my stuff moved. I didn't even get to purge any of my my personal stuff like in my bedroom. So my kids they got their stuff, but I did not. I did not get to personally purge anything from my bedroom, old clothes, things that don't fit anymore. Now, if it was down here, if I had something down here, that got taken care of. Except there's some bins and stuff that are up on top because this is a, a water heater closet right here. And so there's a ledge up top there. Um, and there's some stuff up there that I did not get to look at. And I didn't see the point in bringing the bins down to go through them because where am I going to put anything that I per I I'm out of amount of space so I'm probably gonna have to rent the dumpster again part of me wants to wait till like October right because I don't need another massive undertaking I still have to finish this when the storage shed comes everything that I am that I've decided to keep that did not need to be purged all of that has to be brought to the storage house for storage and then I have to completely finish setting up this room um, with, with my things. I have to unpack everything from my sewing room that I have not done. I still have to bring all of my fabric down. The only thing that I brought down is some half yards. Um, so over the next um, couple of weeks, I want to get the rest of my fabric down here. Um, so I just got a lot going on. It's April. We do a massive 4th of July party. That's coming up. Have not prepped for that at all. So that's something that has to get taken, you know, we have to start prepping for as well. Um, so I just, I just don't know. I just don't know. I do know that um, I'll at least probably, it's probably going to be about four weeks before I have the, the room set up the way I want it to be. So until then, just bear with me. I'm doing the best I can. Um, I think today I'm going to have a sew day. Um, I just took my daughter back to college. She doesn't, it's not far. Her, it takes like, with no traffic, it takes like 30, 35 minutes to drop her off. Um, one way, one way. So, you know, there was, there was, it's a Sunday, so there was hella traffic. Um, so to take her and get back home was, 
I don't know, an hour and 15 minutes, maybe hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes to take her back to campus and get back home. So really not, not a big deal. Um, I slept in this morning. I slept in, um, I snuck in the kitchen around noon, took a couple Advil, went, got back in the bed, didn't get up until about 1.30. I didn't sleep. I was just in my bedroom, just in the bed, looking at my phone, that type of stuff, looking for fabric to purchase. Since I, I, I'm going to have more space to store my fabric. Anyway, um, so still a lot to do. I, I've done a lot, but I still have a lot to do. So um, I'm going to have to work on that. So like I said, I think I'm just going to have a sew day today. I may bring some more fabric down. Um, I may do that. That's a possibility. Um, but until then, uh, just bear with me. Maybe I'll clean up. I, I've got to figure out how to clean up my space so you guys don't see all my mess. Because <laughs> everything... <laughs> Anyway, wish me luck, guys. Pray for me. Um, I'm just going to keep at it. I'm just going to rest today. And uh, I think what I'll do is maybe three days a week. Because I don't want to overwhelm myself. I don't want it to become too much. So I think I'm just going to do three days a week. I will do stuff down here. Because I still got laundry. I still got household chores. I still got to cook dinner from a family um I don't cook every day but I still gotta you know cook a few times a week at least so I think I'm just gonna do three days a week I don't know if I'm gonna do them back to back I, I don't know what that's gonna look like but I think my my goal is gonna be three days a week we'll see how that goes um I don't know I don't know guys I don't know I think I'm just overwhelmed. I think I'm just overwhelmed. I've just done so much. I've pushed my body. I really need to work out because I shouldn't be so tired from what I did. But I am. So, like I said, so day to day. Um, I want to work on the Venus quilt that I am making for um, my fiance's. Um, aunt you know before I started this video I should have found the block where is everything hold on I want to find this block because I want your opinion hold on all right so clearly I need to work on my organization but these are the, my two test blocks because whenever I'm doing a pattern I like to do um, a test block before so they're pink and green and so I've got a bunch of pink and green fabrics. Oh, just three. So one of my, um, I said this on my other video, um, my goodies color club, um, video, one of Adrian's, um, aunts, like his favorite aunt or, um, asked me to make her a quilt and her son is graduating from college, like May 5th. And we're supposed to go to the graduation. She was like, well, if you can get it done by then, that'd be great. And I'm like, do you know how many hours it takes to make? No, of course you don't. Why would you? Why would you know that? People who don't uh, create don't know how long it takes to create. And I can't hold that against someone. So I'm going to do my best to see if I can get these blocks made. So I think that's why I'm going to have a sew day today. Uh, because I want to um, just kind of get started on this. I am going to time myself though I've been timing myself not exactly but approximately um on like how how long does it take for me to press a half yard how long does it take for me to cut my 10 inch squares out of there and then how long does it take to subcut those 10 inch squares to make the block make the, you know so I just want to know how many hours it takes and then once the quilt top is done I want to know how long it takes for me to baste and then how long it takes for me to quilt so these are my two blocks so far um, this quilt has several layouts so you can put the blocks together in pairs like this because um, you you match two tenant squares and so you get two con two um, contrasting blocks right and then 
you can choose to put them together like this you can choose to use a different different print I could you know I could use a different print or you don't even have to put them together like this you could put them together in any way that you want there's several different layouts the pattern is called Venus it's by GE designs so this is the pattern that I am attempting to make um, I don't think that I'm gonna put this giant border on mine though um, because I'm not and I also found my uh, my little room so this is this is half the room. This is gonna be my half. So um, this section over here, that's the water closet, and then this section over here, that's where the stairs are. And then I've got my little pieces. Oh, so there's uh, there's my ironing table. Wrote the dimensions on there, and so everything is to scale. <laughs> this this is what this is what I did on Sunday when I couldn't get down here. This is the kind of stuff that I was doing. So I can take my little pieces and put them on here and figure out where they're going to go. Right. <laughs> and then I also have like I can use I can try to figure out where my design wall is going to be. But um, so right here, this is where where the shelves are. And right now, um, <laughs> let's see, because it's backwards for me. So right now, my cutting table is here. And then my ironing table is perpendicular. So that's kind of what I've got going on now. So I'm just going to wait and see. Um, just going to wait and see how things go. But um, like I said, there's there's more purging to do. I didn't get to purge my personal bedroom at all. Um, so I might do this again. I don't know if I'm going to try to do it in October or if I'm going to try to do it in May. But I know it can't be too hot, right? That's why I chose... The second week in April, A, because it was spring break and my son would be home and it can help with some of the heavy stuff as well. And then also because in North Carolina, it's not that hot in April. You might have a hot spell where it might be 80, 85, but it's not going to be 90, 100 degrees. It's not going to be miserable. And in general, this time of year, everything stays between 70 and 75 at the beginning of April. So I'm like, that's a safe time. If I start to push to May, that's when the heat starts to come. So I'm just not sure right now. I think I'm going to take it one step at a time once the shed gets here. And hopefully I'm not going to have issues with the shed. Um, like I said, I had to have pieces of the fence removed in order to allow their truck enough clearance to be able to get in. So I'm praying that this truck can get in my backyard and deliver this shed. Or else I don't know what I'm going to do. So that's coming. So I think once the shed comes and once I um, once the shed comes and I can um, what do you call um, get the rest of the stuff out of here, get everything, all the furniture pieces in here the way they're supposed to be and, and my fiance gets his stuff set up, then maybe depending on when that is and what the temperature looks like, maybe I'll take a few more days off and rent another dumpster in May, depending. Or maybe I'll just wait and do it in October. Or who knows? Maybe next year. I don't know. But um, I kind of don't want to wait until next year because I really would like to um, go through the bedroom and, and do that. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for me. I have talked long enough. This video is way longer than it was supposed to be. So um, that's it for me, and I will see you guys next video.